bit more just because of normal. one bad series you're gonna I mean, you're gonna stop believing no of course not i mean uh, the one good series got me to believe and the one bad series shook my confidence right so just what, what i'm really looking here for here rather that's is not faith some consistency that's not having faith in god King. i just want to have some consistency that's all i'm looking for here, to be completely honest and i think if they can take the series off of geek fam who admittedly they do have the stand-in but a respectable one with abed there is five series in the group stage so what if he has one bad series and four good series I'd be, I'd be impressed. That's exactly what I'm saying here. But you're losing confidence right now. A bit, a bit. All a I'm bit. saying is it's been shaken, and I, I'd love, I'd love to be proven wrong. Absolutely. Shaken means what? Thirty percent loss. I don't know. Thirty percent's a pretty big number. He's on a nice, flashy hero here. Shepherd just gonna say hello to him. Uh, cutting down the trees already will be guiding. He does not want to deal with this whatsoever. What's the battle. build? How many wraith bands? How many wraith bands got game? Dude. But uh, he's not going to have a great time. They got plenty of ways to stop him, right? The overgrowth. <laughs> It'd be so funny if he actually goes out and dies here. <laughs> I don't think he will. White Mon, he might have been shown now because of the one tree. He's taking your advice. Stay on the tower. Extra yeah. regen. Extra regen. The one armor already, too. It's no joke here, but also not a joke. Look at Jeffers' win rate. <laughs> Nine of ten matches. The battle begins. Double snot. Yeah, and the way he plays Shrian is uh, not the same, too. Red Panda. He goes for he doesn't go for the max armor right away. He plays in a more offensive way, yeah. maxing the, the first two spells, the nukes. Yep. Deep seed, grass, buy veil, do damage. Hammer, your favorite item. My favorite item, and I think uh, Ice Frog's favorite item too. I mean that item's been buffed so much Are recently. You ice Frog. Wish. I wish. Are you? Might be Ice Frog. Could be. Could be. Like, eh. Use against Wrench, do they know who's gonna win the matchup? Yeah, it's it's this is a weird one. Carl back onto the middle lane, obviously. They're, they're looking for that aura. You have three range carries. Wrench is not this kind of hero. But no, I, I kind of have to agree with you here as they are gonna be getting aggressive onto the God King. Plenty of right click damage out from everyone here, but Jeffrey in a bit of trouble. My goodness, look at the damage they just have. Yeah, but this is what uh what we were mentioning earlier. Whenever you have this kind of like squishy uh, carries, you prefer always like a body in the lane, you know. Yeah, we, like the we, clockwork. We, yeah, we saw in the Geek Camp series, what series yesterday, they had a, what was it? That was earlier plus, today, uh, you brought it up. A Phoenix plus what? No, yesterday when they lost oh, all their Oh, yes, yes. Uh, a Phoenix and uh, it was, was, was it a Spectre? It, was it, like it a might have been a Spectre or a PA and the lane was so, so it was bad. It was like not, yeah, they just kind of got ran over. Already we can see the difference here, right? God King, yes, he's getting harassed a little bit, but he's got Red Panda here to soak up plenty of spells. They've already tanked through the initial tri lane that Geek Fam's thrown at him. White Mon TPing down bottom now that Abed's level two versus the Mars. Now, I would say Mars got a little bit of an indirect buff just because Soul Ring's a lot better now. That helps out. Not just that, he got more intelligent. Smarter right now. He's a smarter. Smarter than you. He's also uh, got his brother in the lane, or his in the brother? game. Yeah. The brothers. I don't know. Mar Mars is, or Zeus is Jupiter. Well, that's the Roman name, right? So he's older. Uh, no, well, well, cause Zeus was, I don't know, I think they're all the same age. I'm pretty sure like, cause like Kronos, their dad, you know Greek mythology very well? Let me, let me explain to you real quick. Uh, maybe not here as Red Panda, they're continuing to trade blows here a bit. Jeffer, he's not able to jaunt out as And Medusa is. the sister? Uh, but no, Medusa is Persephone, I think. She got turned into stone because she stole an apple from Hera. True story, by the way. So then they sent one of Zeus's like, uh, one of Zeus's, one of many Zeus's, it should say, like, sons, I think, technically a half-son, to go and kill her for some reason, and, like, Pegasus is there, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so Kronos was, like, uh, the Long land of all story. time. Cool story, he, mate. He decided to eat all of his children because some dude's like, oh, your children are going to kill you. So he's like, I know what I'll do. I'll just eat them. But then Zeus got, like, born out what of his the forehead, and then, happened? you know, forehead the emo. And then he like, I don't know, brought all of his other siblings out of the stomach with him and they were all fully clothed. It's very specific. They're all fully clothed and they all have weapons. I don't know how. Okay, Mars is winning his lane. Okay. So anyway, Mars Relax, is winning bro. his lane. The, Relax, bro. He has 11-6. There's, there's a lot of lore there, but yeah, he's doing quite well. Radiance current Indirect buff. He's a smart boy. Well, he, he did have a lot of uh, issues with mana before this. Yeah. That's why uh, you see people building yules. It's not like yules is uh, something that you need. 
uh, for the setup, uh, but it's more like you, you want the mana retain because soaring doesn't cut it. No, 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 it does not. Uh, the good news here, though, is of course, as I mentioned, we've got that combo, one of the favorite combos here, Mars and Phoenix. They got the two go. brothers, man. Well, not quite brothers, though. Partners in crime. Partners in crime, right? Because I think we have his, his, his full brother here, technically, uh, with the Zeus. Zeus as well actually does well with the Mars. The tanky frontliner allows him to actually stand back here yeah. and deal damage. And more, more importantly, this time the Zeus has uh, other heroes that can set up and rotate. Yeah. The, the last yeah. game for Fnatic it is. No, the Pit Lord, yes, he's a tanky frontliner, but he doesn't give you the same initiation like a Blink Dagger on Mars does. As Carl and oh, no, stun. DD. Yeah, <laughs> no stun here. The DD is going to pick up the rune. It's an engine's rune. The rotation out. Carl looking for the TP out. There's no levels either, however, so no stuns for anyone in the middle lane. Nah, Zeus has a, like, one point in like. Does he? Yeah, he does. I was on cooldown, I suppose. Stop lying. I man. lied again. Richie. Nobody's giving me points for lying. <laughs> no one's giving me points anyway. No extra pay for lying. No extra pay. Uh, extra dinner. The God King is doing all right thus far. He's actually he's 13 and 4, so he's not too far off not of too his, bad. Not his too counterpart. Bad. Um, how do you, where do you see this game going here though, out of the laning stage, right? I mean, with, with a mid lane Vengeful Spirit, it feels like you're going to be setting the tempo quite high, but we know Abed previously, oh wow, okay. First Not blood. part of Greek mythology, bye bye. No, goodbye, <laughs> deleted. <laughs> Greek heroes only, please. As, oh, the Flux actually onto Mars, good job by September, closing the gap here, Spirit Mars to attack the Ogre Mage uh, in the Greek wave. Yeah, by the way, this guy is a Phoenix specialist. Yes, September yes. really is a Phoenix specialist, yeah. You actually, you brought it up last time uh, they played, I think, in their match when there was a, another player named Phoenix in the Radiant's game. It was quite confusing. But this time... And we were talking what about... Sort of prize is this? <laughs> Yes, well, that's that's right. Uh, no, but but how do you see the series going, right? Because with the mid lane vengeful spirit, obviously you're looking for the auras. I would assume you're looking to fight a bit earlier and try and undercut SAG's lineup here. What's the strategy? It's the front line I feel. The vengeful. Yeah, because the pup is gonna play like a in and out role. He's gonna run around, try to clear ways. He's yep. not exactly gonna be standing in front, you know. The bench has to do it. Sheffer making the rotation up the top lane. You There's the nature's grass. Oh, the ulti. That's gonna nuke down White Mon. Abed, though, still quite Rather healthy. Trouble. The flux is not gonna kick in, but the right clicks alone are gonna get the damage done. Zeus is the older brother looking after his younger brother. But uh, Actually, I think Zeus was born last. So I think that makes him the baby brother. Baby brother stealing the chocolate. <laughs> Indeed. Is that going to be a rune? The DD rune. Jeffer does not want it. Into so trouble here. Is DD right. there? Is going to be the magic missile now onto Zeus to. and a kill. It's a simple rotation out from Jeffer, but he plays a very active tree and protector, like you've been saying. And look at that. He he ganks two lanes and gets two kills immediately for his team. They're on the board. Yeah, and Puck is uh, okay being left alone. You know he. Uh, He's a strong laner, that doesn't really feel like he's gonna die in no, this lane. It, they, they can't kill him. So not pressured by the clock, tower. not really it's pressured so early by God King either. Yeah, so it, uh, this Dyer's is gonna give you a lot of freedom on the top. But sometimes when you have this kind of range around the off lane, you kinda need to, like a banner for example, you kinda need to babysit him for a certain amount of time with the support. You can't just leave. Jeff is actually back found him and uh, hit again. the D ward. Indeed, the slow spark rate will connect here. Rotation coming through from the clockwork as God King no longer really needs the help up top. So Red Panda will show in lane. Oh, we got actually taking a second. Yeah, there is a rocket flare. There you go, the rocket flare. Rocket flare. Get away. Get out of my face. Get out of here and stay out. Uh, we'll see what he can really get done here. Uh, wow, he's checking the flux on uh, the arc. Is he? Wow. Yeah. It's actually more damage now. The, the flux has been... But in, a, in a, like a dueling, it's been worth it. Well, I think it's nice because the Phoenix in practice does not want to be near the Mars, right? Phoenix wants to always be, as most supports, wanted to be mm. poking and prodding from the trees, trying to kite out the ogre. But now the flux forces him to show in lane so that he's not going to really be able to, to harass from the trees and not full aggro. It makes his positioning a lot more difficult. Um, September, though, like you said, Phoenix specialist, he's done very well in this game. It's not exactly an easy lane. It certainly has a good start so far. Already has his tranquil boots. Eight minutes. Pop up soon. Clockwork securing the bot room. Yeah. Plus with the Oka, right, you have some serious kill potential as well. Bloodlust, a, a nice stun. Fire blast for a slow. Uh, it, it's just two slows in the lane are often just as good as a stun. Magic Save missile. Me. Look at that. Jeffers going to stay alive. Carl actually, sorry, make that cuckoo rotate. Kenny, Kenny is the boss of this team. 
uh, calling the shots. He's like doing so much in the game here. Oh, Mars Arena. ultimate into September, who does not have the ultimate yet. OP looking wow. to be out. Mars will get the kill there onto Abed as he will be poked to death. That leaves Abed's clump here, as well as White Man to try and fight. We need a little bit more damage. The Ogre is not going to get the job done, though. OP, he's going to live on just a sliver of HP. It's a big win for them. Yeah, double kill. Mars gets out. Uh, perfect. Perfect start for the Mars here. Yeah, he did take a death earlier on, but it, it's all about just recovering, right, and, and setting the tempo in his pace. Got a nice shot very early on the ulti there for both of the cores, but uh, SHE, they're finally going to get something to go in their favor. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. They're going to need the Mars to be rotating on the gas to find a good spot, because uh, like, like you saw earlier, with the juice is mostly going to be like hitting creeps. You're going you're gonna to want to farm, you know? Maybe you can make like a small rotation, kick heroes out of lane, but in general, you're going to be looking Radiance for last hit. Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. So you need the mask to get a good game. If the mask doesn't have a good game, he's not going to be able to rotate. No, and he's quite important here, right? Because all he needs to do is, is ideally find Abed. Well, really, only Abed, right? He's the only hard carry in this game for Geek, and he just find him in the uh, in the arena or actually alternatively Carl right because that swap out can definitely ruin your team fight yeah that's why Carl has to play the front line role he has to build tanky items he has to stay in front make sure you don't get to touch a uh, hot water mm -hmm. and he's going to build a, a radiant structure that's the Phoenix the, the Zeus yeah that's it's definitely it's gonna pay off here tomorrow Speaking of which, will be caught now by the Spear of Mars against the Arena Wall. White Mon trying to send him up. The Zeus ulti doing massive damage. Abed nearby here, trying to back up. Drops the double Spark Wraith, and there's the Supernova on top. Abed nowhere nearby, though, so cannot get the Zets on top either. That's going to be three kills in favor of SAG, only for the Clockwork in return. It was a bit, I mean, my goodness, so everyone just meeting up at the 10 minute bounty or power rune right there. Yeah, here comes Goku late to the party, but still wants to join the party. They're gonna have too much to offer here, unfortunately. Could have used that soulbind. I'm sorry, not the soulbind. Could have used uh, the coil a little bit earlier there, but uh, just a little late. Yeah, but that was the full extent of the team fight. The it was. Phoenix plus Mars plus the Zeus ultimate. Oh, that was a huge amount of damage. And for, uh, September, like Radiant's you said, definitely a Phoenix special. It's a great attack. placement for that egg. Because there's definitely plenty of heroes to kill his egg this yeah. game. Bloodlust, Arc Warden. Arc Warden. Bench. The Arc Warden double. Yeah. The, who does full damage as well. That's so why he has to play around the arena. Yep. Oh, speaking of Arc Warden, though, Abed in some trouble. The hook shot in from Red Panda will connect onto him. Radiance and DD has got plenty of damage. The Lightning Bolt to pick up the kill onto him. Abed not off to a fantastic start. Yeah, you can see that they are not comfortable with this setup where. Because uh, the roles are swapped between Gwen and Carl. Yeah. All of them, what they need to do the game is different right now. And they're not really adjusting well to it, especially Carl, you know, because it's the way... No, no. That's why when you sometimes talk about, like, drafts, uh, you sometimes not just to need to consider that, oh, the strategy needs this or that. You have to consider what the, what do you want to put on your... What is the best possible setup for your players, not mm -hmm. just the strategy. And this was something that the, the previous iteration of Geek Fam uh, with Raven was quite good at, right? We, we like to bring this up at least once a time, uh, once every series. Yeah, but still, the, the setup is still the, pretty much the same, right? Like, I bet it's just, like, uh, fulfilling Raven's uh, uh, position, mm -hmm. and they have to just... Uh, Make sure everything goes the same. Yep. Red Panda gonna break the smoke onto White Mon, but the rest of the team gonna continue to rotate into the jungle. He's trying to sweep them up with someone, but actually here, there's gonna be the hook shot to steal the arcane rune away. That's gonna allow actually the two-man gank to rotate around from behind. There's now the, the coil snap beautifully placed onto DD. Will they have the damage room? They absolutely will. Amber uh, as well is gonna be silenced up for some time. Rooted now as well. Abed, does he have the damage with the double? He does not. The control off from OP is gonna be not good enough as well for the egg to pop off. SAG, this fight's gone from bad to worse now. It looks like OP is His death will be sealed by the spark raid as DD has brought back, trying to man fight here versus Carl. You got him once, but you're not gonna get him twice. Carl with a triple kill, DD with a triple kill, but he dies back for that one. And it's, uh, well, five kills here, maybe even more as God King. He's actually gonna TP into the fight here. What a start, man. 12 minutes into the game, a buyback from <laughs> both teams. Yeah. Both of the core heroes.
into the game. But uh, the, the Phoenix A was just a tad slow because the arena was ending when he actually popped yeah, it. Yeah, well, he, he was silenced. He, yeah, he couldn't protect it. He was rooted as well. Yeah. But at the end of that, I, I, I felt like he, he needed to pop it right away so that the arena could still protect him. When he uh, had it in the end, it was just way too late because the bench and the art wouldn't just finish the egg off right there. Yep. But it was still a pretty close fight. Uh, Good control onto him, absolutely. Yeah, Geek Fam just uh, still managed to in the fight. And that, that was that was Geek Fam. They persevered because the smoke broke only off by White Mon, so he kind of just baited the start of that fight. Oh, and the rest of the team shot. went right in. Oh, that might be in trouble. And, oh, yeah, he is completely dead. My wow, goodness. even the carry morphing is joining in. Oh, this is fantastic for God King, isn't it? He's going for a much more standard build here. Wait, what? He's going for a standard build? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not really much to talk about there. As a swap on a September, right into the magic missile. TP is going to be incoming from OP. Jesper nearby in the trees behind the tier one tower, but Cuckoo going to be the first one to make the jump in. Carl, it's got to swap, but it's not going to burst. Still leashed up. He oh, can not get off the supernova because it's going to be off cooldown. Everyone just leaves now the arena of blood. Ulti for ulti trade. It is, but Geekfam still quite healthy. Might consider going back in again. September, very low on HP. The egg not going to get the chance to be used here as Cuckoo jumping forward has the damage. Nice phase shift, but OP God still has the life loops for him. He pops back out. Spear Mars is available, just waiting for the vision for his brother, and he's going to find it. Nice job, bro. He says, brothers enough. Brothers at buff. Indeed. And the Zeus ulti for vision, but they're not going to be able to find Carl. He's actually going for the Vlad's here. Stide him then into the pipe. I think he needs to get a pipe first. I think it's just too much. No, it's just too much. But the Vlad's does help him farm better. The, the pipe doesn't help him farm. Correct. Yeah. Core player. Core player mindset, not the utility player. Like sometimes when you play certain roles, you have to have the right mindset when you are uh, playing. And sometimes it's also like you, you have to be more selfish. Oh with wow! Heroes. Hook shot will connect here. Step back up. Oh, magic missile buying a bit of time, but not enough. That's, That's going to be the kill. On the mid laner, a lot of money. Huge kill. Huge kill. A lot of money for Red Panda. He might die for this one, but he's only the position where he's alive. Absolutely. Uh, actually, maybe give this kill over to Abed. So Plus four defense, okay. Abed, I think he wants to be fighting here a bit earlier. Top he has nothing though, he'll get the Midas. The, the only reason I say that is because he didn't save the Midas for the big creeps. He used them both on the small creeps. Not really too interested in the experience. I don't think a, a player of his, his uh, you know, 12k or more, I don't think he does that by accident, Winter. I think that's, I think he's just going for maximum efficiency. He wants the gold, he wants more than the experience at this point. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Mars still has gone for a. Uh, I was thinking whether you don't need the still need the use with the chain to the intelligence. Uh, still gonna be a nice setup for him and can be overgrowth. Can move overgrowth that can potentially save you from getting snapped out of the coil by you a little bit more time than if you get the ulti off. Oh, or just set up here for a kill onto the puck Radiant as the uh, spear does perfectly connect and God Radiant King jumping in for the kill onto Cuckoo. Well, very nicely Dyer's done there by uh, Mars. And that's gonna give the Morphing even much more space uh, to work with. September still needs, uh, he's gonna need to Radiance try to get uh, more attack. items for his team so he, he can do damage to the build. Very good with uh, the Zeus, very good with the Morphing. Oh, God King, has he stuck around too long? He might be okay. Jeffers rotating on through, but just these two alone, there's no way they can kill him. And that's the uh, they're they're gonna already done. They're gonna wow. need, I think, the pot with the bench to kill the build. Yes, 100%. Absolutely. Oh. Right. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, as always, speaking of Hobhead, Red Panda's found him. He's got the vision, the ward onto the high ground. Pinned as well to the cogs. That should be a kill. That's a bit tough. Waimon going in for the counter rotation along with Cuckoo. The slows here onto OP. A stun as well, but just not really enough damage without Abed here. Vision wins games. Really does, yeah. Uh, Abed is having a very rough one. He doesn't feel like he's safe anyway. The supports are not exactly in position to break the smoke. They're not exactly doing much to happen because it's, uh, it's pretty difficult. The bench and the, the pocket, they have to work together. Uh, it's not really clicking right now for them because they swap roles. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and, and when they when I say they swap roles, it's not like they change them. They, they both still went, one guy went off lane, one guy went mid. But the roles that they're playing in the game is completely mm. different. 
Because the Venge is like the front line, like the, all the Bino, all the tanky heroes that Kuku plays. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's a good point. And Kyle's playing the initiative. They're gonna create the coil, they can actually get the snap too, Solchi as well. It has been dropped, the multicast on it, it's gonna buy them time. The Red Panda, the team's gonna strike back. Where is September actually? They yeah, definitely leave in this fight. Here he is actually, and there he goes, Supernova. Not quite yet needed in this fight. Sunray alone is gonna get the kill onto White Nun, and the fire damage burning down Kuku. They will pick up the God King, but at what cost, Winter? Middle tower is under attack. Huge cost. All heroes. Lose four heroes there. That was tough. I bet it's does he have a TP? They know he's around there. Yeah. Rocket flare. Uh, he has no TP. He's not gonna scout him out. Hiding for now. Bust straight up. Mm. Feels that confident. Dyer's top tower. All I have to attack. do is just uh, output damage, slow them down. We're good to go. Yep. The goal here, right? Tower yeah. Is under Ideally. Attack. So without the pipe, it's going to be very difficult for Kingcraft to take any hit, head up engagement. Hardwall doesn't really want to build an early BKB, you know, but at this rate, he might be forced to build an early BKB. So, it's not ideal. Uh, so I, I know you're saying how Cuckoo playing the initiation and the frontliner is more of the Venge, right? Is that role going to shift as Abed starts to come online a bit more? Do we need to start seeing some, some swaps used defensively to save his life? Yeah, prob probably. But not yet. But, but at the same time, uh, that's going to be like, what, 20 minutes down the road? Of course, right. Yeah, of course. Road, if uh, he ever gets to that stage. Because of course, oh, well, speaking of snap, well, they don't get the snap actually onto Mars. And out comes the supernova. Cuckoo going to try and jump on this one, but there's no way he's got the right way to it. Hookshot is at the ready. Red Panda not quite confident. He's looking for more. Jeffer walking around. He's got the overgrowth. There's going to be the two times multi cast done. The heels on the back lines out from September. As Geek Fam, they're going to be going for more. And Nature's grabs so the two men silence. He's right back in. A nice swap between Ice World 1. But an even better hookshot countered though by the overgrowth. The arena of blood now getting dropped. Jules up to bind him a bit more time. Carl is going to get poked to death by the spear wall as well. As it looks like OP, he will eventually fall. Cuckoo jumping in, landing the silence here onto DD, but he is going to get bursted down to by the Arc Lightning. Arcane Moon, man. What a miracle on Zeus. And it looks like Jeffer is going to be chasing him down. Power Cock saving his life. Zeus Alti Jeffer now Radiant's on the run all of a sudden as September did not close the gap. Trees, they're not so good against Radiant fire, you know. No, super effective. Super effective. 20 minutes ruins, uh, Morphling's gonna pick up the bottom Balance. of the Albert's gonna pick up one here, He's, at least. That was so aggressive from Geek Fam. I, I mean, they had He was have so known. aggressive on the Mars he was standing in front of their tier one. Yeah, but they have all the ultis. Zeus came late. I mean, he's got the global ulti, though. <laughs> All right, he TP'd in, yes, a little bit late in the engagement, but I think he TP'd in right when he needed to. Yeah, but also they didn't get the snap off with the coil. The no, right, yeah. oh, well, they're going to try it again this time, but uh, they might not even need it. As our Phoenix is silenced, he's got the Icarus side, but no chance to use it. Finally, they get the engagements that they need. Or I guess the uh, pick off. The pick off. Right. Thank you. Welcome. Mark pick up his BK as to be soon. This is gonna be a huge, huge problem for them. They're gonna have to save the overgrowth for KB later. Yeah. But at this point, yeah. it's more like uh, he's doing damage through his uh, E-Blade, you know, not exactly <laughs> just his right clicks. Not yet anyway, right? That's gonna eventually cha kind of change over here, but yeah. We'll Maybe if the game doesn't add in like 10, 15 minutes, he's gonna have to build into more of a physical way. Yeah, they are but, 14k. Just, yeah, nice hook shot as well to kick off another fight. Kuku does not have the coil quite yet, but he's going to jump straight into the pit here, or rather the cogs, as there's going to be the Nimbus, unable to catch Kuku. He's going to be able to blink out in time. Jeffrey, though. Yeah, you see, they are doing all these moves without the Venge. The Venge yeah. is not with the, the Puck. No, and Jeffrey's not going to be as lucky as the Puck either. No way to get out of the pit. Uh, he's through the tower. arena. Under he's looking at this alone. Dyer's he's just for the trade, and now he has his, uh, his building into Radiant's his pipe. Yeah, just... Uh, out of thought, you know. I feel like they, they're not really Radiant sure what they have to do. They're playing way too many kills around the map. Uh, being in the wrong places because the roles are different. Mm -hmm. But overall, uh, Abed is still struggling to getting more and more farm. He's Radiant's not given enough space by his team. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of crazy because Geek Fam, I mean, there's, what, 41 kills in this game? Radiant's like, how, what do you mean we're not giving them space? Well, when 30 of those are on SAG or just about, right? It's not really. Really doing much work for Abed Yeah, here. even the Mars is a hit of the Yeah, with, with the it Midas. Is. With the Midas, Hookshot is going to get two good cogs. Pushback is perfect into the spear. Not even needed as God King actually is going to go ahead and wave Formon in to secure the kill onto Cuckoo.
I've got a great catch for this spot. Yeah, the yield setup is great, but I didn't have to hit that time. Nope, just a nice hook shot out from that panda. That's yeah. fine. I mean, that's why Claw is a, a very, very interesting skill right now when you are able to play as a plus five. More flame, yeah, more flame blink dagger. Is under attack. Very aggressive. It's like, uh, uh, that reminds me of like... I mean, all he needs to do is just go to the back line and just go inside and find the outlaw. That's... I think if he was Radiant's playing AM, he'd also be queuing up to blink this game too. Not even joking. Double blink AM. Yeah, I know you have to just blink. Yeah. Maybe... It's a, it's a nice thought experiment, but uh, Geek fam, they need to think of a way to get back into this game. Keep it to yourself, Richie. Keep it to yourself. I'm not doing so amazing here. Um, Blink Dagger, though, on Jeffer would be very nice, but he's going to get caught out here trying to go for a little bit of a walk in the woods. And there's going to be the Zeus ulting on top there. Looking for more. That's only the Tempest double, though. Uh, not that God King minds. He only sees that as an additional 240 gold GPM. into his pocket. Thank you very much. <laughs> GPM, extra GPM for me. I'll take it. Take it. But I mean, do it. Not Jeff for now, and that blink dagger time is going to be a bit more off. We do have the coil and the swap. Car looking like he's wanting to go for this. It's level two swap now, so ideally they're able to actually get the map off. Morphling though with the BKB at the ready to swap, but he BKBs right in. He says, thank you very much. I can now kill you even that much faster. E-Blade combo there into the bubble. He doesn't even care. God King maxing agility here. That's the confidence he has standing behind the tier two tower as he hits it. He found and lost the tier two tower and they thought they could catch the God King off. This is uh, a bit tough. Yes. So far, none of the, the call swap combos have really worked well for them. The first one, well, no. I mean, they did kill him uh, once, but then they lost four heroes, right? Yeah, that, that wasn't that great either. DD rune here is going to make... Just when you need the DD. Not like they need the DD to get the rune. Well, it will speed it up, right? Much to Geek Fam's uh, displeasure. Uh, the, 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 that's not what they need. I mean, he's finally about to overcome this Mars in terms of net worth. So, so there's something, right? But they still need another five minutes at least until he's ready to, to be the damage five that they need. Oh, you're so gracious. Ten minutes, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, listen, if, if this game lasts for five more minutes, that means they've won a fight, right? And that's a lot of money into the goal, into the pockets of Abed as Cuckoo. Oh, my goodness. Look at the damage. E-Blade has been dodged out by the phase shift, however, so that's going to allow Jeffer to continue to live in. Although I say that Red Panda, he's got the hook shot ready. He's got vision on the Cuckoo, who will just be able to steal that bounty rune to blink away. He might be okay. Although, careful there. That is going to be in vision. Oh, hook shot is just shy there, just out of range. Cuckoo wasting plenty of time. White Man going for the TP out as well. The next creep wave? Yeah. Uh, he's going to wait for the next creep wave. Yeah, he's going to just be uh, a big pain in the butt <laughs> here. But there's a TP out from the Mars. He does have the Yules combo as well, ready to be used on Cuckoo, trying to just dodge out the vision here. I can't believe it. I think he's going to live. Yule Scepter, although I say that. Nice dodge there with the phase shift. He needs to use it now. Wow. And uh, that'll leave him off and away, just wasting the time. Where have we seen this before? What series? Oh, although I say that, I might have it's just cast cursed him. Cuckoo! Oh my god, they wasted so much time. Look at OP, he's just chasing him around. Cuckoo doesn't even mind. My TPs can Well, maybe mind a little bit. They're gonna leave him now, but he might cut another wave if he's feeling brave. He's got the heals coming through. What, what game was this? Was it one of our comebacks? Don't you remember? It might have been Makoto, maybe on the bus, perhaps. When he just he just did that for like 20 minutes, and eventually their core was strong enough to fight. Get coffee. So for one here after this series, potentially Red Panda, he's gonna at least try and get the kill onto the tank. double, and to the flux in his hand here, trying to keep the double alive. White Mon, uh, he is going to die, unfortunately. Gets just about blown up. Nimbus for that one. Kill secured by EB. Don't worry, guys. I got it. Uh, but he's he's gonna keep on farming. We have the full pipe of insight now ready on Carl at least. Are still a bit farther away from his, but I, I think we're gonna have a high ground push incoming. Fortify there? <laughs> did they just glyph? They, they did glyph. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, they didn't even try to protect the camera. No, I don't. I think I think there was someone cutting the bottom wave. I think maybe it was odd that there we go. The use of the combo. The spear of Mars is gonna miss again, but they've accidentally caught Ku Carl. Maybe even not by accident. He's unable to escape as well. Into the wall. The nib is on top of Cuckoo as well. And the hook shot to keep him locked down. He's dead. 50 seconds without buyback. They did get the God King though in the middle of that engagement at the very least. That's gonna be the first life down. But he still has BKB and this E Blade. He's got a lot of damage too. 
Hero is dead. Uh, they didn't even kill him with, with, the, with the coil combo either. They didn't. They're looking really out of sorts. I'm not sure what they have to do with uh, the totally different outlook when they don't have a suitable draft for them. Maybe this one got away from the block that way. They, they had one idea in the draft and just kind of trouble executing on it. It's Abed's illusion is going to die. That's September just going not into it. I'm <laughs> not really sure what that one was about. Now Zeus is going to be left behind here potentially. The bubble, the giant, is going to be protected. But we have another hook shot available. It's going to be blocked by the creep. That's going to keep Abed alive. And that's going to net them the kill on the Zeus. Oh, cool. Now Red Panda trying to TP out. His TP will be stopped by Kara, who hits him with a magic missile. That's going to be three kills, as you've said, all in exchange for the tier 3 tower and 8. That's a lot of money. 4 kills. Well, you don't get the golden experience. But look at the experience change! 7,000 XP?! My goodness. Alright, so that's not bad. That's yeah. not bad. I mean, this is probably the reason why you see the drafts have been centered a lot around team fights. You have to put certain amount of focus onto getting team fights because you gain so much when you win. Yeah, it just kind of felt like SAG that none of it came together there, right? Because they died with Supernova. Yeah, they're just careless there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's true, but sometimes it's carelessness. Game and oh, game up. Yeah, the game is going too easy. You, you need to lose a fight to wake up, you know, oh shit, we can still lose the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's it's a, true, it's the, actually true. You, you got a point, you got a point, you know, Winter, you, you've, you've got much more experience playing uh, high-level Dota than I do, right? So... It is going to be one of those things. Wake up call. Man. Sometimes you just have to be happy that the wake up call doesn't come too late. That's true, right? Sometimes you're happy that if you're Geek Fam, the wake up, wake up call is not, oh god, this PA has a divine rapier and just killed Abed without buyback. As they've lost Stop the series. Stop reminding them of it. Something, that's something to keep in mind, right? That hasn't happened to SAG. It's probably happened quite a few times to Boom Esports, which is why we saw them play such a slow tempo and patient game, right? In their last series for Fnatic. And for some, there's OP God, Link forward. Fuel Scepter combo, pinning him to the tree, pushing him all the way back. Set enough God King for the kill. September with the Shivas looking for more, but Jeffrey's is going to dodge him out with the Blink Dagger quite easily. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Who knows? Doing a good job just pushing Dyer's waves. Abed doing the same as well. Just the only thing they can do is going to pick up the bounty runes. That's great. Yeah. Uh, and when you're 20k behind, breaking even with bounty runes, that's amazing. It's a big win. Uh, it's a big win. They do not have their outpost, unfortunately, Dyer's by the looks of it. So they still lose fallen. that experience. But, you know, you, you take the small wins when you can, right? Bounty runes, your entire team. You don't complain, you know, you get what you want. Uh, you you get back. what you can right now. You get what you can. And, yeah. and there's the, the blink dagger by God King. Oh, they cancel Cuckoo's TP. It's not a game. It's hard to catch him. Oh, two. not it. He's going head right into OP, though. The spear will connect this time. No face shift, no waiting rift. And the E blade instead to the face of this puck. See you later. He's got the BKB. He's got some farm. He's got some farm here. Not enough farm. He's got not enough farm, Garcia. No, but like I said, right? They they won the one fight. They didn't actually even lose barracks for it, so they still have full gold, full bounty on the mid creep wave. They might even get a fear kill onto September here if uh, Abed can net it. But no, he just double will time out. Yeah, level 18 Phoenix on way. Yep. Arl, count here Mars, who's just. Chilling around the top way, but he's gonna back off. Probably realizes he's in a bit of a bad position yeah, they need here. A gem. Okay, they have a gem. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, this train is annoying. Yep. Jeffrey plays a pretty mean train, as he saw winning nine of ten games. Train that stats early on. Uh, there we go. All money gold. for God King mm -hmm. to raise my gold per minute. And that I'm even closer now to full. Uh, Manta style is actually I mean, the, cool the yeah. drop is just always centered around, like only centered around the outward. And there's blood loss. There's a there's a setup with the foil and the tree and ultimate, leaving the outward. Everything is basically around the outward. And if the outward says I'm not ready to fight, I'm not ready. To fight. And yeah, I'm not ready. To fight. And that's kind of the problem, right? Because you did have this. I don't want to call it cute, but you had this combo early on with the Venge Coil swap to try and create that space for you, but Abed still has like three or four deaths in the early game, so he's been significantly delayed. So now they need to buy more time, but this combo is already starting to wear off. These KBs are coming out. Cuckoo doesn't have the farm. What the mm -hmm. fuck? But if the Abed can compensate for the fact that he can get more damage, if he's allowed to get more damage, I think they can still find a way to win the BKB. Yeah, fight. and here we go. They're supposed to BKB here on God King. That's that's value. And they're actually going to snap I, the coil. And Jeffer right there for the pay clicks will get him down. 
That's going to be a kill out of the guy. Yeah, Gokking dies again in the same place. That must be the eggs then on Cuckoo. Yeah, he has that. Nice. That's I was what, just one, saying. 1,000 gold for one kill. Yep. That's some good money. That stonks right there. All right, and a BKB charge extended at that. Not bad. Okay, and now, like like you were just saying, I bet he just needs time. This is this is a full minute and a half where the God King is not on the map. Roshan, unfortunately, it's even more than that. It's a long one. It's gonna take them some time to regroup as well when he's alive. So it's essentially gonna be around two minutes of farm for him. Yep. Dyer's yep. I mean, uh, like killed. I said, though, Geekheim wishing this was a fast Rosh. It's not. Not that back into the jungle. Phoenix. He already has the BKB he's oh, yeah, for the MKB now. He just yeah. needs more damage. Is, yes, he does. The Venge giving him the aura and the team fight, he's ridiculous. going to be able to yeah. output so much damage. His attack range already is going to be pretty stupid. <laughs> With the Venge aura and the Hurricane Pike completed. Yeah, but still they're up against a 8 plus arena. It's not easy. It's no joke. Yeah, it's, it's definitely no joke. Even more attack range, why not a little 20? So that's 100 plus 140 plus what What does Ventura give you? I always forget. Plus. NA math, please don't continue. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, 125. Okay. So that's a lot of attack 1, range. 1,000 range. That's a lot of it. Of course, there's the aura talent at 20. It'll turn into a sniper right there. Not even have more oh, attack it's actually good to get that. Yeah, it's actually good to get that talent. This game. Yeah. I agree. It lets you stand further away. You have to. God King has to go further. So does September. Op God, the Zeus. It's not as mobile. He can be easily left behind here. So they will now smoke Dyer's up as four. Under God King, outstanding. Fiddling though, at the very least. This squad was respond. so rich. Uh, hook shot. Oh, they're just dodging. Actually, he lands under the <laughs> he lands under the easy cam at the very least. As, as Red Panda, he will be able to close the gap. That's a kill now onto Jeffer, and that could be Roche. Yeah, Roche just respawned right before the hook shot came out. Uh, second Zeus ulti. That's for pressure. Op. He's looking for a kill now onto Carl. No one to really save him here. Ooh, the glimmer cave. Oh, white man, take the death from me. Sacrifice. So Radiant's noble of a sacrifice. Thank you very much. He said. He was not by choice, Master. Uh, White Man did have to walk on over there by choice, but that's going to be the refresher reveal out from Zeus. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay, but again, that opens up Roche here, and they do it quite quickly. No DD rune this time. Look at actually Cuckoo. Cuckoo finds two uh, two bounties again. Dyer are scanning. Yeah, great. It's a small trade, uh -huh. and any trade is good. Even trade, any. That'll be Ages and Cheese here on the side of SAG. Ages and Mortality on the God King. Cheese onto OP. Yes. Mid lane, who is this? Who is this? Is this, is this real? Oh, no. Okay, my bad. It's just the Tempest double. Another 300 gold to God King. Whatever. <laughs> Were you thinking about that game? Uh, there was one game where he actually missed Micro. Uh, one yeah, of the who, who was it? It was... was it it was a mid laner. It was no. a mid laner for the MCY, MCY. Ah, it was MCY. Yep, it was. Oh, the coil on to two, but where's the follow up? Coil will snap now. As there we go, finally getting the second break. Shepard jumping in, trying to divide and conquer, but the God King is now here, ready to party. On to Carl, they go. He's in the near, they can be able to blow him up. His White Mon again getting swapped in. There's the Supernova, though, inside the arena. That should stun up one odd that they look at the TP out in time, however. So it's not going to be too heavy of losses. Only Jesper and probably White Mon as well will be the only two to die, but they have buyback, and SAG do not have any of their big ulties. By the way, God King dropped his power trades in the middle of that fight so that his courier could deliver the, uh, the boots of travel. Why am I even not surprised that this guy is up there in the middle of the fight? Mm -hmm. Neither. Not bad. Hey, how, how far have you come? So, uh, like before, the skill cap of all, the overall players have gone up so much. Are under attack. It has. It really has, right? I think, it, and I think it's, it's players like these, you know, players like God King, and, and to an extent, I would argue Envy, where, you know, they, they do these ultra efficient things where it's like, I don't care, I just need this, this is what I need to win. And everyone else goes, okay, we're not going to take it that far, but we like the idea, right? Nice idea, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it verbatim, but I am going to try and mimic it, right? And I think that's been done to, to, to high success here. And that's how the meta gets. That's, you know, gets passed along. It was like Battle Fury Ursa. Everyone's like, what is this? Like, come on. And then that became, it spread all over the world.
<laughs> Amazing. What? Is the art water ready right now? Yes, it's MKB completed. He does a lot of uh, damage in the fight if he's allowed. To do that. I mean, the question is, do you want to fight now? So, yes, does he have a choice? Yes, to defend the rep. Well, there's the arena blood. Actually, SAG, they're not taking the choice. They, they don't have the. the Supernova, they do have the arena, they're gonna catch one combo with PKB, it's a great arena, they catch four, jump in, look at the damage, trying to blow up one, Abed in some trouble, he's gonna get swapped out, Carl as well, BKB can just leave the pin, two buybacks immediately off from the supports, and that's the arena down, the BKB as well, committed on the first life out from the God King, we still have plenty of ultis to use here for Geek Fam, except for the overgrowth. SAG, I suspect they're gonna go right in again here, Winter. What do you think? 30 seconds before they have uh, Gears Alti again. I think they're gonna wait, wait a bit. Chill. Boom, there he goes. Uh, no need to rush, though. I I agree. And look at this. Look at this attack range. Can we hover over Abed there? Do you hover? Look at that attack range. That's not cast range, folks. That's attack range. And Shepard, he's going to be baiting his teammate Kugu. He's going to buy the coil onto one. We're looking for a swap, but we'll get it now. But the egg onto the back line. They're most importantly trying to focus onto OP. Oh, God, they son of a voice. Now three times they're going to get the kills there. He's down for the cop, but so is Kugu. And now Carl actually dead. He does not have the buyback. Why not? Still alive. Red Panda sticking quite low in the attack range. I bet doesn't even need to get anywhere close to him. Up to the fountain goes the God King to secure, to secure the kill onto one. He will be punished for that one, though. How heavily is the question. He still has a Zeus alive as it will pop the Lincoln Sphere, the waveform away. I think he's got the Blink Dagger and the BKB ready to go, so he should be pretty Radiance safe and sound now. But they force the buyback out from Cuckoo. I, I so hold on. I mean, similar to the Tier 3 push. Yes, they lose a lot. They don't lose the Abed, and they don't lose the Barracks. That's because they decided to chase. They did. Yeah, yeah. They just uh, stood, hit the racks. That probably is going to not happen. Still racks up. Game is still gonna go on. Uh, Zeus is having fun for sure. Yep. Casting his spells, killing heroes. He's just kind of standing back there. He's, oh, I'm out of mana, guys. See you later. TP spout. TP's back into the fight because he's got the cooldown reduction talents. Level 26 now. Yeah, how often can you play Zeus like this? Table it. Gotta be a dream, right? I mean, and to, to some degree, the same here on the Morphin. He's, he's definitely seeing himself going into the fountain. Fountains, they don't mess around anymore, by the way. Uh, time, time to get an axe on the Morphin. Come to Zeus. I, I want to have fun too. I want to have fun too. I want to play the Zeus now. I think instead. That's a nice point. Pick up one bounty. Jeffer as well. So two bounties here a piece. Yet again, they've been doing this quite consistently here for some time. Jeffer though. Oh, the war just expiring. Luckily, they will pop the link in. So Kuku does not want to be anywhere nearby. There's Zeus uh, Nimbus to find Jeffer. Hookshot is going to miss, however. We did. Oh, it didn't even come out. I apologize. Another Zeus ulti, though. I think they refreshed it just to try and hunt down this tree. Oh, did they? Yeah. Just refresh for that? Pretty sure. Nah. Nah. Just kidding. Lie to me, man. I can't help it when you're a liar. Uh, look at this Arc Warden going then into the Eye of Scott. A good item for him this game, especially against the Morphling, isn't it? Another 300 gold for God King. If you don't die in the fight, you can right click, sure. But right now, the fights have been going really, really bad for him. They have, right? A great Lucky. arena up okay. from OP to cut off uh, the big escape route. He's forcing him to pop the BKB very early in the fight, which means he can't contest the egg. He can't contest the Zeus. Put him in a really bad spot there. And a great counter. I mean, this this clockwork has been amazing all game as well. It must be said. Yeah, he's the unsung hero of the yep. game. He's For been doing so much as a position 5 He's player. so tanky too. The Minotaur Horn is going to make him even more annoying to deal with. He's going to have a Lotus Orb. From, from laning stage until the dive, he's been, he's been great. Oh, Ninja Gear. This is great because it, it allows you to actually dodge out the Tempest Double, like I said earlier in the stream if you were uh, tuning in. So because Tempest Double no longer breaks smoke, it doesn't work against regular smokes for some reason, but if you Ninja Gear right next to the Tempest Double, he cannot find you unless there's another hero nearby or a tower, whatever, right? Well, that could potentially be an, uh, an easy escape here for the Zeus. That's the reason he has it. The, the true reason he has it is because... For the agility. For the no, attack. Gaben gave it to him. <laughs> you think you could get a ninja game if you wanted to? Uh, we also have an Aeon disc now on Phoenix, so he's more survivable. Big items now for SAG. They're up 30k. 42 minutes of the game. I think they're going to wait for this last Roshan just so they can dive extra far. They don't need to, to, lose, to worry about it too much. 
Yeah, but the art order is gonna get the same mom. The mom is actually super low farm. Look at his network. He is not. No, no, most definitely not. Not with the eye of Scotty, MKB, BKB, a full Mjolnir. I mean, next he's going for the uh, Bloodthorn for the True Strike, of course, getting the double silence, all the items. Of course, proving to be doubly as efficient there. Oh, Jeffer. D's gonna sniff him out. TP's coming on in. Nimbus are trying to hold him back, but look how much they're chasing for these kills. Just like the puck. Everyone actually rotated it over. Jeffer, where are you going, man? 21 charges trying to juke. Give him the back and forth, but the God King, he's locked on Fox 1. And that's the kill into the Dream Protector. Oh, but oh, he got, he's actually left completely behind. They will snap the coil, but he got the BKB off. So that means there can be no additional stun and the counter rotation now from Red Panda. Carl able to get off the BKB and oh, he got, oh, excuse me though, he gets the BKB off. So he does not mind the Spirit of Mars whatsoever. Shepard still dead though. So the God King joining the fight, gets the kill onto White Mon. Abed as well. He's got the Tempest double here, just trying not to feed it, I suppose. But eventually SAG are gonna leave that one in peace. Both force dead yet again. Bit risky going for that fight. The OP. They are, they are behind so much, though. They have to try something to it's get so, themselves yeah, stuck yeah. in the game. But it's so difficult. I mean, that's not an easy pickoff by any by any definition. As there's another great hook shot. They catch Kuku the swap out, trying to get him at least out of harm's way. But yet again, the God King, he is locked on. And he is loaded. The kill onto Carl here as Abed's step is double. It is going to be eaten alive yet again. And it's going to be most likely the Nugget Troops here, if not the game. Abed now with Carl. White Mount responding in three, and you will have the train protector up in 20 seconds here. Radiance they get middle done. Are under attack. Radiance middle Still has Radiance that refresher, middle good to go. Wolfling is very scary here with the Satanic. Doesn't even have an Aegis as he's nearly actually dead now, but OP making the jump in. Abed, he's got the real one inside the pit, but BK beat up, he's free to leave. The Death of Stubble has been murdered though, quite quickly, but that's now bought time for Jeffer. It's now 4v5 with all the ulties down, except for the refresher here on Zeus. Jeffer out of the trees here already, could make the jump as they have popped the Lincoln Spear by God King. There's gonna be the swap in, into the stun, actually the three times multicast, they get the kill. Is it gonna be enough? He actually buys back, he'll be right back into this fight here, don't you worry about it. Hookshot will be up soon, and God King is right back to where he exactly was. Abed is gonna make a double jump, a heavy commitment into the hookshot, into even more damage. He doesn't have BKB on the real hero, so he's gonna die, but does have the bot back at the very least. He's getting some insane damage in here, so God King will be forced back. Abed sent a double, continuing to fight. There goes the clockwork now. The Phoenix nearly getting nuked down, as now OP has taken a fall. Two heroes dead, the rest of them looking to back off, and they will be able to cleanly escape. God King just continuing to farm, though. Okay, not the best game from God King. Nope, sloppy game. A bit, right? I, it feels like they're not really giving them the respect, yeah. right, this game. And it, it shows in that last push. Buy you back, and sure, you're right back into the fight, but it's at this point... Now yeah. there's a window of opportunity for the game. They just need to kill one thing one time. Yeah, well, they're not gonna... Oh, well, they will be baited by that, but we're gonna quickly learn it wasn't real. Roche here, Abed with the Tempest double. There's the Zeus ultis. We do have buyback though. There's gonna be the first with the hookshot available. We also have Supernova and the Arena of Blood. Bit scary here, but Abed is also very scary himself. Oh, Arcane Ruin, that's huge. Is big. It's gonna be for Cuckoo here. That's gonna reduce the cooldown of the coil even further. We have it at the ready. Tempest doubles are really making quite fast work for the buyback out from on Mars now. Is there's gonna be one ulti now? The coil onto God King. Oh, the hook shot. It's beautiful though. It's gonna connect onto Cuckoo and the damage to nuke him down. Down for the count to Supernova. Will force back the rest of Peak Fan. But SAG, I think knowing that they're gonna keep chasing up to the high ground, goes to God King, four staff forward with the waveform. He's actually got a heart now on this ball plane, incredibly tanky. Carl, BKB away, that uh, he blade projectile there, as they have now found White Mon. That's gonna be a kill onto him, but Abed, Carl, and Jeffer still alive. But Scott King again, he's just gonna go straight for the Megas. They're gonna pop the Lincoln Spear. They do have the overgrowth, and now White Mon with the pop back, but there's the horn for the Megas. Bam, they can defend though. They got the Mjolnir, they got the Arc Warden. Okay for now. Swap is good on the God King. He's completely isolated. The way from the way. But it's a short one. Straight into now the overgrowth to the arena. Of one now drop. We don't have the Phoenix. No, uh, Ulti. And Abed, he's in a control now. By the hookshot, the damage. It's too much. And the BKB is now expiring. He's back up to the high ground at the very least. But he's 
he's lost Carl. Waimon very likely to die back here as well. And it's going to be him and Jeffer still versus five as they did not even get a kill onto the God King. SAG looking like now they're going to finish this one up. Going for the tier four towers and the GG will be dropped. Game one goes to SAG. Don't your food. I agree. I agree. This is for the upper bracket. Others, there's.